Guys, Bitcoin is at a pivotal point right now, and I am going to go through what I think is the next major move. Also, I am going to back that uh, up with a couple of very interesting charts because we're starting to see the signs. We're starting to see the early signs of what we usually see during corrections. And uh, yeah, guys, I do think that we are due for a big move eventually. And today, guys, I'm going to go through all of that. So stick around from the beginning until the end. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So what we can see, guys, is that yesterday we did manage to break through my orange box right here. You can see that not only did we break through it on the four hourly time frame, we also broke through it on the daily time frame. And uh, you can see that we had this daily candle right to the edge of the orange box after trying to break through this for multiple days, struggling with it. We finally closed the candle right on the edge here. And then we opened up the next daily candle, which we are trading inside right now. And uh, you can see that we have made a push. We went as high as 59,500, but then the bears uh, took a little bit of control again and pushed us down. And I will tell you why we saw this uh, little bit of a pullback as well. But as you know, guys, in yesterday's video, and by the way, look at this, we're right now, right at the uh, orange line as well. So it's logical for us to, once we clear this level, we have a quick bounce towards the next level of resistance. And that is my orange line at $59,000. So let's see if we can break through this. But as you know, guys, if you watched my video yesterday, I did say that we had a trend line. We'd had this pattern right here, but we had also the orange box. And I said that, okay, we're going to have to either break down from this trend line, which would be a bearish thing to see, or we would need to break above the orange box, which we know is significant resistance. In yesterday's video, I said that on the balance of probabilities, I do think that we are going to break this towards the upside because I just thought that there's just too much fear in the market. And whenever there's that much fear, usually turns out to be a very good buying opportunity. So uh, yeah, that is actually what happened. So I'm happy that we were able to see a 3.5% bounce here from this point. And uh, now let's see guys, if we can on the four hourly time frame primarily, get some more momentum and break through this point. Well, the good thing is that even if we uh, have a little bit of a rejection right here, we're still gonna have the orange box here as the support on the way down, should we see that. But overall, guys, I think that we're gonna see sideways action, but I do think that it's leaning, compared to where we were a few uh, weeks ago, I'm leaning more towards um, you know sideways with a bullish bias. So I do think that we are more likely to go sideways and up then sideways and down. But we will see. Uh, for me, as you know, guys, I have been accumulating. And yes, I am working on a big trading video. I'm going to go through everything for you. Uh, but for now, I'm just adding more margin. I keep it the trades that I have. Um, big long trades. So as Bitcoin goes up, all of those gets into uh, well, less loss or in profit eventually. So obviously, when we do see that big move towards the upside, all of those are going to make a lot of money. So that is all good. Now on the daily time frame, I want to show you this. So as you know, guys, we do have the green line here, which is the 200 day moving average. And so this is the reason also why we went down. So you can see that it is reinforcing the orange line right here as well. So not only do we have the orange line, which is big resistance, we also have, we also have the green line, which is the 200 day moving average. So both of these two things, they're gonna do everything they can to push down or to keep us below this point. But let's see if we can get more momentum. I do see it as pretty likely that we're gonna break through these ones. And if we do that, guys, we do have actually a potential pop towards the upside. Because if you look at the liquidations uh, right here, you can see that we do have a lot of, lot of um, short positions that have been opened recently. And uh, you're gonna see those being liquidated at about 59 to $60,000, okay? So if we can clear that area, then you're gonna see a little bit of a pop towards the upside based on the liquidations here as well. So a little bit of a short squeeze. Now, if you look at the daily time frame, you do have also this trend line still, which I want to remind you of. So as we're going up here, we're currently at, let's say 59,500. Well, this one is at 63,500. So this one has been a very key pivotal trend line previously. So let's keep our eyes on that. Nothing essentially, um, 
happening for Ethereum, nothing very important. We can see that we had a double bottom here. We can see that we're trying to uh, slowly squeeze upwards here for Ethereum as well. So that is all good for traditional markets. We're at a new all time high on the daily time frame. So on the futures, so um, yeah, traditional markets continues to do well. And this is the key pivotal point because I think that at some point, people are going to look at this. And I think that this is actually happening right now. People are gonna look at the traditional markets. They're gonna look at the previous charts, which, we, uh, which we've been talking about and how Bitcoin usually catches up. And even though you still have the German government selling, you still have Mt. Gox and everything, there's gonna come a key pivotal point where a significant amount of people and institutions are gonna say, okay, you know what? The German government, they have $1.4 billion left. They have sold, I don't know how many billions and Mt. Gox have been distributing X amount of billions as well. Now is the time to get in because Bitcoin is undervalued compared to the traditional markets. So uh, I do think that we are, if not at that point right now, very close to it. So that is why I'm very confident in the trades that I got open because I do think that they are gonna eventually turn up and uh, be very, very profitable. Now, in terms of the miners, as you know, they are capitulating right now. And if you look at the Pule multiple, which basically measures the mining uh, profitability, you can see that usually when we have a uh, drop, a correction here, in the mining profitability, well, we usually, we could go down to as low as 40%. So currently we're at about 72% right here. And um, we could go down even lower as miners continue to sell off Bitcoin and Bitcoin potentially continues to go down. Um, so we could see some more sideways action. But what I want to point out is that whenever we go down to this uh, level down here, it usually signals a very, very good buying opportunity. In fact, I wanted to show you this chart as well. Also the Pule multiple, but by uh, another content creator. And what he's been saying is that whenever you have a steep correction in the mining profitability, which you're seeing right here, it was a very big drop. It was a very big drop here as well, and a very big drop here as well. And the last two times that happened, uh, we saw Bitcoin go up. So that's just something to pay attention to as well. But uh, sideways action with a bullish bias is what I'm doing. Also, Powell, we have made considerable progress towards the 2% inflation goal. Recent monthly readings show modest further progress. So Jerome Powell is starting to um, yeah, sound a little bit optimistic about the market, starting to slowly. And um, But as usual, he's been saying, like, we have to look at the data, we have to do this and that. So uh, let's see what that is going to happen. And uh, look at this, guys. We're still seeing very, very strong inflows into the spot Bitcoin ETFs. So you got, uh, uh, two days ago, you had $300 million. You had $216 million uh, yesterday. So uh, that is all good. We can see that uh, we're seeing these strong inflows. So maybe the trend I've been saying with the pivot, with people starting to say, okay, now is actually a good buying opportunity from a risk to reward standpoint, even though we still have the German government selling Bitcoin, we still have all these things. But yeah, you want to be able to accumulate a bag before all of this is done with and we see massive pumps towards the upside. So when are you going to get in? I think it's not too bad of an idea to start getting in actually at these levels as well. And uh, then we also have the US trading hour premium, meaning the Bitcoin price is usually at a higher price during the US trading hours. So that means that US entities are buying Bitcoin, they're using Coinbase and whatnot, so they're buying Bitcoin and uh, it's pushing up the price during the US trading hours. So yeah, all good in regards to that. And I still think that once we break through these key levels, I do think we're gonna see a little bit of a pop towards the upside. And guys, if you want to start trading yourself, you have the best trading um, or deposit bonuses available down here in the description of this video. You have Bybit up to $30,000 right here, OKEx up to 60, BitGet up to $40,000. And then you have Avo using no KYC and there's a limited campaign right now. You get a $300 trade, deposit $100, and you get to trade for $300 for free. So make sure to sign up to Able using this link right here. Okay, guys, that is what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.